Farah, it's been an eternity since we last spoke. Are you still there? Have you not perished in my absence? What? Samuel? Is that really you? Yes, it is I. You do remember me. Why are you acting so overjoyed? We didn't even see a glimpse of you at New Year's. Again. In fact, forget New Year's. It has been six long, grueling years since we've laid eyes on you. You don't have to stay for days on end or anything. Just come and let your family see your face for the first time in what feels like forever. Ah, yes. Well, that's actually sort of why I'm reaching out to you. I'll be returning to our old family home this very weekend. What? Returning? Do you mean to say that you're planning on living here once again? Yes, that is exactly what I mean. Okay. So, this is just completely unexpected. What are your plans for work? I can't imagine that you would attempt to commute from here. It's a four-hour journey one way from your current residence to here, is it not? Is your employer transferring you to a different office that's closer to us? No, no, no. Then what is happening? How do you plan on dealing with such a long and arduous commute? By not having a commute at all. Isn't it obvious? I have resigned from my job. What? You resigned from your job? After having gone through all the trouble of being accepted into an Ivy League school and managing to secure a position with the Fortune 500 company, you just resigned? You even texted me to boast about how you had received an offer from that very company. What in the world could have possessed you to do such a thing? Well, you see, I am now incredibly wealthy. I managed to amass a fortune through the stock market. The stock market? Yes, the stock market. I'm already well on my way to becoming one of the greatest stock traders in existence. But that's not all. I am not just one of the best. I am an unparalleled genius. Okay, hold on just a moment. Don't let your ego get the better of you. Yes? You should be intelligent enough to know this already. But surely you must realize that one does not simply become a stock trader on Wall Street overnight. Do you possess a degree in economics or finance, for example? Me? That's not an issue. I can simply receive training in those subjects after I secure the position. What? Do you honestly believe that someone will just hire you without any prior knowledge or experience in those fields? I have honed my sales skills through buying and selling on the market already. Yes, and I'm quite certain that any experienced stock trader would look at your actions and see them as nothing more than a lucky gamble. No, it's not a gamble at all. It simply showcases how truly remarkable I am at this. I'm confident that any experienced trader would recognize my genius upon first glance. For anyone to actually believe that you possess any skill whatsoever in this field, you would need to have a solid track record of success. How long has it been since you first started playing the market? When did you begin? I began two months ago. Really? You only started two months ago? Yes, and within just those two short months, I have managed to master all of the necessary knowledge and skills to make an absolute killing on the market. I'm telling you, I am a genius. No, that's not what I mean at all. I highly doubt that anyone would ever believe that you could have possibly learned everything there is to know in just two months. Oh, perhaps that is what you believe. Tell me then, how much have you traded on the market yourself? Well, I haven't done any trading myself, but... Then, do not speak about things which you clearly do not understand. Fine then. But are you absolutely certain that resigning from your job like this is the right decision? If an amazing genius such as myself says that everything will be fine, then everything will be fine. If you continue to prattle and like this, I will not come to your aid when you inevitably find yourself in financial trouble. In any case, are your plans to return home set in stone? Yes, I have already terminated the lease contract for my current apartment. Okay, got it. Well, your old room here was basically left just as it was six years ago, so you'll need to clean it up yourself, but then you're free to use it as you like, I guess. What? Why can't you just do it, Farah? I'm not exactly free to do your cleaning for you, even if I wanted to. Yeah, right. Like a woman as old and unpopular as you who lives with her parents could ever claim that she's busy. That's a lie, and you know it. Wow, so you think saying things like that is going to change my mind? Well, if you're such a well-adjusted adult that you can quit your job without a care in the world, you can clean your own room. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I rented a truck for the weekend so I can move my things from my apartment back home. So be sure to leave some space for me to park it, okay? Yeah, I can do that. Be careful coming home.
Hey, Farah, are you out at the moment? And here I was thinking that you were going to get my luggage moved in, too. Oh, you've already arrived, huh? I guess you still have your house key? Yeah, I still have it, so I just let myself in. Anyway, where are you right now? Ah, uh, an emergency at work suddenly popped up, so I headed out to deal with it. I'll be back this evening. Ah, uh, I see. Well, what about mom and dad then? They're not here either. Oh, they're... well, they're just doing what they always do. Uh, what? What does that mean? Actually, forget that. Whatever. Anyway, when you get home, just help me a bit with this, would you? Unfortunately, I can't. When I get back, there's other important work I need to attend to, so I don't have time to help you. Oh, sure. Right. Your work. So, about this work you keep mentioning. You don't actually have a job, right? You just sit around at home and do nothing, don't you? I'm sorry? I know what you're doing. You didn't want to help me with my move at all, so you just left the house and are killing time until I'm done, right? Look, I don't know what mistaken assumption you're running under, but make no mistake, I am working. Got it? Oh, are you now? Yes, my job is one where I normally can work from home. However, today I had to directly meet with one of my clients and talk about the problem they were having. Hence, I had to leave the house. <laughs> yeah, right. You're nothing but a liar. Do you really think I'm going to believe that garbage? What? What makes you think I'm lying? Well, because I text mom and dad all the time, and they're always talking about you. You've just been staying at home ever since you left your job six years ago, haven't you? For a woman over 30 to still be leeching off her parents and living at their house? The whole neighborhood has been watching, and mom and dad are so embarrassed. Ugh, so those two have still been going on saying things like that then. Even though being a freelancer means that my main workplace is my home. And there it is, the go-to excuse of any shut-in. I should also mention that the neighbors are all familiar with my line of work, so there's been nobody watching or family whatsoever. The only embarrassment that mom and dad are feeling is made up in their own heads. Well, yeah, I'm sure you'd like to think that. For someone who never even went to a college to hold up a job where they're at home the whole day, that's impossible. The only people who can do jobs like that are those who are really smart and have lots of skill, not somebody like you. Yeah, and I have multiple relevant certificates that show what skills I have. Oh, really? You can say that they're relevant all you like, but are they really anything that any self-respecting company would even look at? Of course not, because you're just a lazy woman. You're not going to lie your way out of it. Wow, you really are a piece of work. For you to be younger than I am, Yet you still don't understand just how prevalent remote work jobs are nowadays. Are you sure your head is okay? You aren't thinking about jobs like it was 50 years ago or anything? Wow, you are really brave. To think you can say something like that to an amazing genius like me. Look, I don't care what sort of genius you think you are. I don't care if you're going to live with us now. Just don't get in the way of my job. Oh, you're saying I shouldn't get in the way? It's the other way around. You need to hurry up and get a job so you can stop being such a burden at home and so that you won't get in my way. No matter what sort of income you can manage to scrape together, someone as poor as you can't hope to match the money I'll be taking in. I'm telling you, everything's already fine since I'm already working. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, anyway, make dinner for me, would you? Didn't I already tell you that I'll be coming back in the evening? What? Seriously? Come on, the only food that I've had today is the piece of toast I had for breakfast this morning. I'm starving. Just a piece of toast? Do you really know absolutely nothing about proper nutrition? I'm surprised you survived college at all. Look, there's some leftover sautéed vegetables in the fridge. Just heat those up in the microwave and eat them. What? Cooked vegetables? That's just pitiful. Come on. You've got nothing better than that. No meat, no rolls or anything. Look, if you're going to complain about what food we have, you're free to buy your own or go hungry. Okay, fine. Oh, right. The alcohol isn't mine. It's Dad's. If you want any of that or any of the other snacks, you'll need to ask him, okay? If even a little bit of his drinks or snacks go missing, he will get seriously angry. Got it. Hey, Farah, 
I'm going to need you to move out soon, okay? What's this all of a sudden? Where did this come from? Well, I'm not exactly a fan of having to support a jobless person like you. What? You still believe that I don't do any work? Obviously. I wouldn't have just said it if I didn't believe it. Well, then I'd have to ask about your employment as well. What have you been doing cooped up in your room this whole time? What? Can't you figure it out? I make my money from buying stocks, so obviously I'm checking on the stock prices. In order to determine which stocks are worth buying to make a decent profit, I need to be at my computer and constantly be checking on how the market is moving. So, this is my work. And you should know that it's real work, not some fake job like you're trying to claim to have. Hmm. I think I'll ignore that particular slight for now. Anyway, are you sure that you're going to be okay? Making a living solely off of trading stocks is a heck of a lot harder than simply having a remote job. I'm gonna be fine. I'm like a hybrid between a prodigy and a genius, so this will be a piece of cake. That doesn't make much sense, but anyway, if you're seriously going to be trying to go that route, you can't afford to be careless because you think you're amazing. I'm telling you, it's fine. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about. I will not make a single mistake. Oh, is that so? Well, you're free to just keep thinking that, I guess. I can't say you inspire much confidence, though. Well, I need to head out to talk with another client, so I'm going to be out for much of the day again. I left out some extra sandwiches that I made for lunch. You can eat those if you get hungry. Okay, got it. Hey! Samuel? What's going on here? Is this your doing? What? What are you babbling about? All of my things are just out on the lawn! Oh yeah, that. That wasn't just me. Mom and Dad helped with it too. Excuse me? Yeah, this was a major undertaking to expel your worthless lazy self from the house. I proposed the idea to them, and they responded with resounding support. After we talked it through, we decided that while you were gone, we just get it all done at once. We took literally everything that was in your room and just took it out of the house. Simple. You seriously? You utter scumbag! Did you not listen to a thing I said when I repeatedly told you that I have a job? Do you even understand English? We're fine with you leaving that stuff there until tomorrow morning while you get things figured out. It's a little time, but still, you'd best get it all moved somewhere. Oh, I should probably mention, we changed the locks on the doors so you can't get in anymore. <laughs> So you're basically telling me that no matter what I say, you want to chase me out of the house then? Chase you out? How rude. You should try to think a little about how you say things. What are you, a Neanderthal? All I'm doing is to encourage you to start actually contributing to society a little, that's all. Don't act like it's my fault. If you actually did something with your life, this wouldn't have happened. So what are you going to do about the house then? Oh, there's not going to be any rent trouble or anything. Don't forget that I, the amazing hybrid genius and prodigy, who's crazy rich, I'm here to take care of things. Is it just me, or does your head get bigger every time we talk? So, just to make sure, you're really sure, you want to kick me out like this? Well, of course. What, are you telling me you don't have the means to make a living without leeching off of our parents in this house? Well, I guess that's not much of a surprise since you've just been living off of our parents for the past six years and don't know a thing about making money. I guess you just can't help being completely worthless to society as a whole. Well, I guess I can give you 10 cents and see what you can do with that. So hurry up and get the heck out of our house and don't come back now, you hear? So to put things another way, make sure to disown me properly, alright? You can do that for me, can't you? Huh? Make sure to disown you? You're asking us to do it? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I can leave that to you, right? Thanks in advance. Oh, yeah, and 10 cents would be fine. I'll go pick up that starting cash and go from there. It should make a good start for the future. Huh? What is this now? Anyway, bye. What? I'm lost. Seriously, why are you acting like that? Did you not get what I told you? Farah, you there? Farah, please, pick up the phone. Things are crashing all around me here. What do I do? What can I do? Oh, what's this now? If I remember correctly, the three of you disowned me, right? The stocks are all crashing. The stocks? 
Do you by any chance mean the stocks that you bought? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Up until the market closed yesterday, everything was going perfectly fine. But when I woke up this morning and checked my portfolio, the value of everything I had had suddenly plummeted. So, I'm just taking a guess here. But was that portfolio of yours by any chance composed solely of stocks from Fortified Manufacturing Company? Huh? How do you know that? What, does the hybrid prodigy genius not happen to watch the news? Huh? The news? Well, I've only just taken a glance at what headlines have popped up on the internet, so I don't exactly know the details, but it sounds like there was a huge scandal involving Fortified Manufacturing. There's been continuing coverage of the scandal on the news ever since last night. Are you serious? I can't say I really know a lot about the stock market, but stock prices rise and fall at least partially based on how the company itself is doing, right? And you're saying that's why the prices crashed? I mean, it certainly seems possible to me. Shouldn't a stock trading hybrid prodigy and genius know? What's going on? Anyway, why are you trying to get in touch with me? Huh? I mean, yeah, I did forget to block you, sure. But considering you were talking so much about how you were kicking me out and disowning me, can you please just stick to your word and not contact me? Please, I need money. I'm sorry, what? What's this price crash? Things around here have seriously gotten worse. It's catastrophic. Catastrophic? On the spur of the moment, I figured I'd make a huge investment, so I took out a $50,000 loan. Are you crazy? Did you seriously go and do something that monumentally stupid? With things as they are, I can't possibly pay back the loan. I'm begging you here, so please, I need money. No matter how lazy and poor you are, you seem like you managed to get the money to move out just fine, so... You can send me the money to pay for our expenses, can't you? Hmm, well, I have it, but I don't. Huh? There's no way I'd ever have money to give to people who disowned me. If someone disowns me, I no longer have any relationship with them. So why would I give someone I have no relationship with any money at all? It's not like I'd be giving it to a charity or something. Look, I'll apologize for trying to kick you out. And since you don't have a job, we'll even all help you to get work too. And here we go again. For the umpteenth time, I have a job. As for you, I think you'd better get to job searching yourself. Otherwise, you'll really find yourself in bad shape. Not that you aren't already, mind you. Huh? We pay rent on that place, remember? It's $1,500 a month. Mom and Dad surely aren't going to help. They just spend their time at the casino all day. And let me tell you, they don't win big. What? You telling me Mom and Dad don't work at all? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know? But every morning they leave the house at the same time, saying that they'll be heading to work. Well, yeah, they're certainly headed somewhere, at least. They're heading to the casino. That's it. What? Hey, Samuel, did you know about your college tuition? It was all paid for by my late grandfather. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, until I started working myself, I was supported by the money Grandpa earned from his business that he built. After he died, Mom and Dad took that inheritance, and being practically addicted to gambling, as they were, essentially, Threw it all away. Ever since three years ago, my income has been what's kept that house running. Well, mom and dad are still thinking they're living off of that inheritance money. No matter how much I explained to them, they never took it to heart. So, now that I've been kicked out of the house and disowned, the responsibility falls to you. Since I'm not even considered part of the family anymore, all I can do is say that you need to start working to support mom and dad. Well, if you want to continue staying at that house anyway, Farah, please come back home. Huh? Why? Look, even under the best of circumstances, the debt I'm in, thanks to the stock crash, is huge. You mean the debt that you're in thanks to your horrendous lack of financial responsibility? Shut up! What I'm trying to say is that even I started working a normal job, I can't possibly pay back this loan in time. I don't see how that's my problem anymore. I can't say I really have any desire to return to that house. But why? Your little brother is begging for your help, and you can just ignore him like that? You're so cold-hearted. I'm sorry. The only thing I remember about you is that you're the one who originally got me kicked out of the house. Nothing else. I already told you, I would properly apologize for all of that, didn't I? No matter what, you always seem to have the ability to keep living, even without having a job. I've gotta say, 
After all we've talked about, how can you still believe that I'm some lazy, jobless woman is a complete mystery to me. Maybe it's the mysterious workings of a supposedly genius mind. I don't know. Anyway, I'm a freelance web designer. Huh? I am extremely busy, and I don't have time to talk to you anymore. I'm on a tight deadline for my current job, and any further talk with you is just that much more wasted time. Hold on, Farah. This is the last time I'll ever talk to you. Goodbye. The following day, I learned through my relatives the true reason behind Samuel's sudden decision to turn to trading stocks. At his previous place of employment, he had the opportunity to receive guidance from his colleagues who were experienced traders. He followed their advice and, as a result, made a considerable amount of money. After experiencing his initial success, he purchased more stocks and, by sheer luck, managed to strike it big once again. However, this is where things took a turn for the worse. Emboldened by his two successes, he began to believe that he was some sort of deity of stock trading or some other nonsense. Without giving it a second thought, he resigned from his job and devoted himself entirely to day trading. Now it seems that he is trapped in that house with my gambling addicted parents, struggling to make ends meet for all of them through a part-time job. When you take into account the debt that he has brought upon himself, it becomes clear that he cannot afford to take even a single day off from work, not even on weekends or holidays. To make matters worse, without someone like me around who regularly takes care of the housework, the house is slowly transforming into a filthy pigsty filled with garbage, dirty laundry, and other such unpleasantness. With the rent due and no means of paying it, eviction seems inevitable. After hearing all of this, my relatives who have been keeping an eye on this situation could only let out a heavy sigh. 